is a town almost synonymous with steel and home to one of the five integrated steel plants owned by India's largest steel producer, Sale. The Bilai plant supplies rail lines to Indian railways and it is estimated that nearly 4 lakh kilometers of these tracks have come out of this plant, enough to go around the world 10 times. While these facts seem spectacular, the fact is also that with size have come challenges. And the latest is a steep fall in international steel prices and an even more worrying fall in the rupee. So to make sense of how things are looking, we caught up with the chairman, T.S. Varma, who insists that the big picture remains intact. India is ultimately the demand center. The per capita congestion of steel in India is 55 kg per capita per annum of which the rural India, it is just 17 kg per capita per annum and 60% population of India lives in the rural India. So India is ultimately the demand center. See downturn and all the things are happening uh, in those economies uh, which are the saturated economies uh, like uh, Europe and the US and all. I have not seen any such uh, downturn uh, signs in India. Yes, India cannot remain uh, unimpacted uh, from all these happenings uh, globally, but uh, that impact much uh, and that's why no steel company in India, whether in the public sector or in the private sector, has curtailed any expansion program. All the steel companies, are they are working on the expansion in full program. Capacity. They are also working in full capacity even now. Yeah, we are working more than the full capacity. Our capacity utilization is ranging from 105 to 110 percent, all the plants. Okay. So let's break it up. You know, uh, this particular plant is the biggest supplier, as I said, to the railways. Uh, you are also supplying to a lot of the automobile companies from other plants. If you were to break it up across sectors, you know automobiles is actually uh, you know seen very slow growth. Uh, how are you seeing? Where is the pain the most? See that uh, as I said, in general, uh, the demand push has been there in India. The level of the growth has uh, slightly slowed down. Earlier, the growth in India in the steel sector used to be about eight to nine percent uh, in the steel uses. Uh, in view of all this downturn happening uh, globally. The growth in the steel sector in the demand usage in India has shrunk to about 3 to 4 percent. So still 3 to 4 percent growth in the steel usage in India is there. And I think this, uh, this uh, downturn is only a temporary phenomena. With the passage of time, things should look up. And in India, the government of India is going to spend a lot of money on the various sectors of the infrastructure of the Indian economy, like in the 12 five-year plan. 1 trillion US dollar is being spent by the government of India, which is 10% of GDP, which has never happened in the past. My question to you is that most people are talking about a year, two years of more uh, pain as far as the economy is concerned. That we are possibly going to see a 5 to 6% growth even in FY14 uh, and FY15. If that were to happen in the interim, what impact will it have on you? See that even if, uh, see, the, uh, in the current uh, financial year, 13-14, the GDP growth is going to be about six uh, percent. This is as per the budget document submitted by the government of India and the Parliament. If GDP growth is going to be six percent, the steel uses growth has to be about seven to eight percent. So, so one, to achieve one, one percent. Yeah, to achieve one percent growth in GDP, the steel uses has to go by about one to two times. So let's uh, look at uh, the larger picture, Mr. Varma. Two very very worrying trends that are happening. One is. Steel prices internationally are down and that has an impact on uh, domestic steel prices. And the other is the rupee has depreciated considerably over the last two years. Both have an impact on you. From the financial point of view, what is the hurt like? It's the fact uh, that the steel prices globally and in the domestic market, they have come down by about 10% the last one year. And uh, we are as any other uh, supplier of steel in the market. So those uh, dip in the prices will impact the sale also, it is impacting us. But at the same time, the input prices have also come down. The coking coal, to produce one ton of steel, we require 0.9 ton of coking coal. Earlier the coking coal prices, they had peaked to a level of more than $300 per ton on FOB basis. Today the coking coal prices are prevailing about $150 per ton. But at the same time, yes, there have been a depreciation of rupee by about 20% last two years. So whatever gains you are getting uh, in terms of lower input prices have been nullified because of the depreciated rupee. A slowdown in growth will hit sales. But as Varma points out that history shows that in a growing economy like India, steel demand moves up at a faster clip than GDP. But even if that is the case, sale has had a tough time in the marketplace. The stock price of the company has been the worst performer over the year 
even in comparison to its international peers. Experts say that there are two reasons for this. First, that the company's mega expansion plans have been slow, and second, its realizations of profit margins are low. As a finance man, you wouldn't be very happy with what the markets have done to your stock. Its sale is considered one of the worst performing stocks in the global steel basket uh, internationally because while you're facing slowdown, you're also expanding. The concern is that even while volumes are growing, sale is not being able to push through more uh, uh, products or the volumes in sale is not going incrementally and the realizations are low. Why is that? See, if you see the bas basket of the products that, that sale is offering, I believe no steel company in the globe is offering that. We are offering 1,000 grade of steel in 5,000 dimensions. I don't think any company in the globe is offering such a wide portfolio of the products. As a volume is concerned, our volumes will be going. This year, 2013-14, some of the facilities in the ongoing expansion modernization program will be commissioned. And we have taken in our targets 2 million ton of additional production from the completion of some facilities which will happen during this year and I am very happy to tell you that in about uh, one week from now we are going to install, we are going to commission the largest blast furnace of India which is getting commissioned in our Raul Kela steel plant. The volume of this blast furnace is 4060 cubic meter and this is getting commissioned next one week time and having a commission this will become the largest blast furnace in the country. The second largest blast furnace is coming up in Burnpur steel plant which will get commissioned in December 2013 and our last blast furnace is coming up in Bhilai which will get commissioned next financial year. The new rail mill in Bhilai which is expected to come up by next year is just one part of the expansion plan that sale has unveiled and it is crucial for the company to update its old plants and create new ones. What's taking it so long? Find out when we return.